time, what we do is take the biggest, toughest, super athletes, we pat them up, and it's all about moving the ball across the line. If the ball goes across that line, everybody gets fucking pumped because we scored. But if the ball goes across that line, everybody gets really pissed off and depressed because they scored. And it's the number one thing we watch in America. More people watch the Super Bowl than vote for president. Anyway. This one guy was really good at football. His name was O.J. Simpson, and he fucked a lot of white chicks. And he got crazy, and he married one of them. And what marriage is, is you write some shit down on paper, and then when the woman gets tired of your nonsense, she gets to leave and have sex with new people, but you have to continue sending her money. Yeah. Well, OJ wasn't buying that either. <laughs> so, he got a thing called a kitchen knife. <laughs> and he found her alone with her boyfriend that had been driving his Ferrari. And he put the knife in both their bodies until they stopped being alive. Then he hired a team of legal assassins to get him out of trouble. And they did a great job. They manipulated the English language, they made some shit rhyme in court, and at the end of the day, OJ got off on all charges. Well, there was two of the guys that were his lawyers. One of them was Robert Kardashian, and the other one was Johnny Cochran, and they both died young of cancer. Now, I don't know if karma really is a motherfucker, but, if you got a better example, please tweet it, my man. <laughs> so, 